DaVinci Resolve project settings are an area where most beginners go wrong. In this video, I will show you how to set the optimal project settings in DaVinci Resolve so you never regret it halfway through the project. When you first launch DaVinci Resolve, you'll encounter the Project Manager interface. This central hub displays all your previous projects stored locally, with additional options for network storage and Blackmagic cloud access. To begin a new project, simply click the New Project button at the bottom of the screen. Choose a descriptive project name that clearly identifies your work. For this demonstration, I'll use Resolve Setup Tutorial. You can also change the location of media here. Click Create to proceed to the main workspace. The most crucial step that many users overlook is proper project configuration. Navigate to File, Project Settings, Master Settings, Timeline Format. Here you'll define the fundamental parameters for your entire project. Select your resolution from the drop-down menu, Full HD for standard projects or 4K for higher-end productions. This choice should align with your intended output format. Next, configure the frame rate to match your source footage. If your clips are shot at 24 frames per second, set your project timeline to 24. Mismatched frame rates can create significant issues during playback and export. For YouTube, the ideal frame rate depends on your content. 24 frames per second is perfect for a cinematic look in vlogs and short films, while 30 frames per second is a versatile standard for most videos, like tutorials and podcasts. If you're creating content with fast-paced action, such as gaming or sports, 60 frames per second is the best choice for a smooth, crisp viewing experience. I am going with 30 frames per second. Once you've established your optimal settings, save them as a custom preset for future projects. Click Save Current Settings as Preset, name it something descriptive like Standard Production Settings, and set it as your default. This ensures consistency across all new projects and eliminates repetitive configuration tasks. Now hit Save. To safeguard your work, enable automatic backup features through DaVinci Resolve Preferences. Then User, Project, Save and Load. Activate all available backup options to create automatic saves at regular intervals. This prevents data loss from unexpected software crashes or system failures. When you're ready to begin editing, create a new timeline through File, New Timeline. You can apply the preset we just configured or customize settings manually for specific project requirements. Click Create to generate your timeline and begin the editing process. Following this systematic setup approach establishes a professional foundation for your DaVinci Resolve projects. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment what problem do you want me to solve in the next video? Take care and bye.